Okay. All righty. I think we have everything just where it should be. How is everybody's Monday? How was your weekend? Just, just the chillest. Just the chillest. It's not a thing happening in my neck of the woods. I'm still dreaming of the crack shack. I just, I really want to go now. I'm telling you. I don't want to tell anybody it's the Lord's Chicken because then everybody will go there. But it's way better than Chick Fil A. I listen. I am hands down. I like chicken in any form, any place I go. Man, so this place try. was like bombed. Up. Okay. All right. So we are going to get started. What should we jump in with? first uh, all of these products let me tell you where you can get them yeah hi tammy all of these products are available at polished no at magpiebeautyusa.com uh -huh. or on the magpie usa app so if you haven't downloaded the magpie usa app you should probably do that you should especially since it's a sale you might as well right just makes it so much easier to shop it makes it, it is a very easy shopping experience yeah. in the app i love the app so yeah. yeah definitely go to the app store download magpie beauty usa and log in. You can actually use the same login information as the website. Mm -hmm. And it even connects, like, if you purchase on the website or on the app, it connects your um, purchases. Yeah. Makes it easier yeah. to, like, repurchase your favorites and yeah. your, your go-tos. Which we love that. Yeah. We love that. Yep. Okay. So. Uh, we do have some hellos. Hello. Hello. Shame Hello. In Indiana. And in boring Indiana. Uh, <laughs> and Pinkies and Tootsies by Sarah says hello from wet and windy England. Hello. Oh. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for joining us. Welcome. All right. We're going to get started. I'm going to just pull. Rachel has a pile and I have a pile. So yeah. I'm just going to pull from the top. Yeah. And we're just going to see what happens. We're just going to go for it. Okay, so the first thing that I think are fantastic are the chromes. Yes. This is the chrome palette, and <clears throat> I can't say enough good about this. I actually love the chrome. Yeah, it really when is they're so like nice. this, uh, they're so nice to use. They stay, you know, nice and not messy and everything like that. But not only the chromes, but I actually want to pull out these that we haven't put into a chrome palette yet. But these are the pigments. And dare I say, the pigments might even be more my favorite than the chromes. Because the pigments, when we work with pigment, sometimes it can be so messy. Mm -hmm. But when they're compact like this, gosh, it's it just makes so it good. So much easier to work with. Yeah, I love it. Love, love, love it. But they are little magnetic this is empty. things in there, and you can put them into yes. the palette. So. Yes, I guess I should say that. So you can take this out of here, and then you'd pop it into here. So that's how it would work. Yeah. But it's just convenient. Right now we only have those in there. So I'm going to put this back in here. Oh, we have two in there. All right. So Rachel will fix that. But there are so many good colors of pigment. And this makes for the easiest ombres. In fact, um, I love this color. This is Majorca. And Ibiza, which let me see. Oh, it's right here. So you blend these two together, it makes a beautiful ombre. And if you wanted the entire nail to be ombre, then you would use Aruba right here Jimmy. at the top. Ooh, I wanna take it. Every time I hear that, that is immediately where my brain goes. Let's go, let's go to the Beach Boys. <laughs> okay, so these three blended together make for the perfect ombre pink nail. Like it's just absolutely gorgeous. They just melt so beautifully together. Hawaii is stunning. Love, love, love this color. Sweet. Anyway, I just can't get enough of the pigments. She broke. I love the chromes. They're just fantastic. Um, do, you know, be gentle with them. They are fragile. So if you were to drop the palette, like we have accidentally, or if you were to drop these guys, which we have accidentally, like then, you, you know, little, they can have a little breakage. bit of breakage. So just, you know, they're fragile. So be careful yeah. with them. But I absolutely 100% love, love, love these. All right. Moving these guys out of the way? Yep. What's on yours? Uh, my my first up would be the gel paints, but not only the gel paints, the new palette that has come out, <laughs> because you know how much I love my tried and trusty nail art palette and how just insane this is. Uh, at some point, I will have to get a new one. So <laughs> she's gonna have to let have... me just mourn. Yeah. She's gonna my have current a moment. palette that I have made all of these colors, <laughs> and then we'll just start with a new one. But it is so convenient really to like quick before have you. everything in one place. Yeah, it really is. Um, one thing I we talk about this every time Rachel brings out her palette, but all of these colors are not available 
all of these are not available in the original Magpie gel colors. Rachel has mixed these to yeah. her own custom liking. Yeah. So that's one nice thing about the palette is that over here she's mixed individual colors from colors she's made. Yeah. But colors that we use that we use a lot of, you know, like different colors of yellow or different colors of green or things like that, then you can and you're using that often, you can make a big pile of it, which is what Rachel has done here. Yeah. So the core colors are fantastic, and then you just do a little mixing, a little playing, and you come up with colors that are must-haves for all of your nail art. Yep, it just makes your job a little bit easier, and it's just, I don't know, I feel like it's so much easier to use all of the gel paints when they're all out, and yeah. I don't have to open individual bottles and worry about, like, the lids getting stuck to my sleeve and falling on the ground, which happens every single day. Every single so, day true. <laughs> so true. So true. So instead, really is just so nice. put it in the palette, make your life so much easier. Yeah. Okay, next up. This, in my opinion, is a must-have. Now, yes. I do not do acrylic, so I only have Ice Queen because I only use gel in my salon. But we do have Ice Queen. Why? Because it's sweater nail season. season. So this is a must-have. It is a very super fine acrylic powder. And anytime. It really is perfect for yep. sweater, sweater nails. Anytime that you do sweater nails, then this is what you need. Mm -hmm. um, one thing to note is that... Um, we will be doing sweater nail, all things embossed. So we will be doing winter and sweater nails and all of those things on an upcoming live in December. I think it's the first one that we start in December. So. Next week we won't be around because we'll be packing all of your orders from Black Friday. But the following week is when I think we do all things embossed. So I hope that you'll join us for that. It'll be a good time. So order this and then join in with us and yeah. do it at the same time as us. Hey, that would be fun. There you go. Um, <clears throat> next Ooh, up, good ooh, one. Yeah, I got... We, we just got our lovely magpie forms. If you have not used the magpie forms and you do a lot of sculpting or, you know, every now and then you have repairs to do because, you know, not nobody's perfect and clients break nails sometimes and it's the worst. But um, I love the magpie forms. They stick together really well. Um, the shape of them, I feel like, is super universal to um, any and everybody's nail shapes and you know, they're super easy to cut if, you know, if you need to. But I love the shape of these. I love how stiff they are. They have um, aluminum in them. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so they're a little more stiff, but they're really sticky. So I don't ever have problems with them, like, um, popping open. Yeah, um, never. In the lamp. Mm -mm. Um, but I just love these. So if you need new, if you need new forms, you might as well just try. These are the butterfly forms and these are the fab fit forms. Also, I'll try and find the uh, live that came from Melissa. Um, our master educator, she did it, I think it was last year, but we try to share it every now and again. And she goes over both the butterfly forms, which are these. These would be the regular forms. And these ones are called the Fab Fit. And you can see that this one has a round area right here where the pop-out comes out, the magpie comes out. And here where the magpie comes out, it's more um, triangular, mm -hmm. right? So I have overgrown hyponychium, so this is the one that fits yeah. me well. But Rachel has beautiful round hyponychium, so this is the one that fits her well. Yeah. So both are fantastic just for different reasons. So so we'll go and we'll search for those, um, or for that live that she did where she explained and she showed how to customize and all of that, and we'll share that so that you can learn more about the forms because it was an excellent live, mm -hmm. uh, and these are excellent forms. Yeah, yeah, love that. All right, what's next? What's next? We got, uh, you know, I'm just going to dive right into some tools. Because I love that. I, wow, you got all the tools. I got all the tools. Um, I love a, I love a brush. I really do. So I, I will say. A good brush is like <laughs> the <laughs> handiest thing in the salon. It is. And it makes your job and it makes your life so much easier when you have the right tools for whatever you are doing. So true. So I will say that there is not a one size fits all like there is not one single brush that I would use for any and everything so there's a reason why there are so many different brushes and so many different tools um but it really does make a difference having something that makes I don't know like that makes nail art um easy so like I will go over these are the like our core nail art brushes so we've got our striper detailer and illustrator these are the OGs and you can buy each of these individually, or you oh, can buy it as a set. And we actually right just now. updated the set to include three of these of lids. The caps. Yep. Love that. 
which the caps are a uh, necessity. Yeah, that's in a my must opinion. Have. Mm-hmm. You gotta have those. Um, but these are the these are the OG. These are the original three nail art brushes, and I feel like I you have to have these. They're fantastic. Like, even if you don't do a lot of stripes, I use the striper every day for all kinds of detail work because it has such a fine tip when you've got product in it it really because the bristles are so thin and they're so I don't know they're so soft um it makes it so easy to do any kind of detail work same with the detailer brush um it keeps its form really nicely I will say that it does have a little bit of product in it because I did not clean out my brushes before I (laughs) did this video whoops um, and I love the illustrator for any kind I of, like, the bigger sections. Like, if you're doing, like, any kind of floral and you are doing, like, the chunky flower section, this just makes it easier to kind of get everything in place and then yeah. do your details with these guys. Yep. But I love these. And then the premium detailer brushes are, I, I don't know, I feel like these are hidden gems. Um, I, I use my number nine. This is the middle. So we've got a six, nine, and an 11. And that just is the size. So the six is the tiniest compared to the regular detail brush. It's very, very similar. It is just like a little bit, um, like it's thinner. It's a little bit thinner, but I also have used mine a little bit more and I'm remembering I maybe cut a couple of hairs out. Gotcha. Okay, so you wanted to make it thinner? a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. Um, But these are great brushes. I feel like the bristles are a little bit stiffer. So if you like a little bit of a stiffer brush um, for a little bit more control overall, these are fantastic. I love the thickness of these brushes as well. Um, If I'm doing like any kind of like checkerboard or French tips or anything where I need to fill a bigger space. It just cuts so much time out when I use a brush that is a little bit thicker as opposed to a tiny little detailer brush or the or very a thin striper. striper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it, it really makes a difference having the correct tools or even just different tools. One thing that I really art. love about the originals is how buoyant the bristles are like they just kind of wiggle with yeah. what your movements are <clears throat> just whereas melts. these ones are a little bit more stiff and so they don't quite have the same wiggle but you use them for different things yeah <clears throat> which is it's very nice yeah it is it's very nice always having the right tool makes such a difference yeah um okay over to these okay well we, we all know how much i love this well you tool. can't get away from the silicone tool. you really can't and this is not just for chrome i use this a thousand times a day for mixing colors because this is the perfect tool to like mix gel paints that's what i use in my palette so i don't have to clean out a brush a hundred times i just use my my little silicone tool and just stir my product and that is so much easier to clean out rather than a nail art brush so love that Mm -hmm. and then also if you are doing chrome if you're doing any kind of 3d chrome or embossed or anything like that where you have the chrome that's like or where you have your polish that's like on top of the polish and you just want to touch like little tiny 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 little bits and you don't want it to be like like your applicator or something that covers more space on the nail like this is really nice to get like that super or even like the chrome tool super detailed where this would cover so much of her nail right right? and you're just wanting to get like just the tip of that leaf just the tiniest little bit it's Mm -hmm. nice because then you just have like less product to clean up yeah when you're only touching the tiniest little bit yeah um or even if you are doing a full nail it i mean it is very convenient to have a silicone tool in your arsenal. I will just say that. Absolutely. Um, that is one of my <clears throat> must-haves. While we're on the topic, um, another use for this is yeah. when you're putting on stickers. So we haven't Ooh, talked yeah, about yeah, stickers yeah. yet, but you would remove that inhibition layer, and then you're going to put, place your sticker and then just really press it down. Yeah. And this is just such a nice tool instead of being like this and did I get it all down? This is like yeah. you're pressing out the air, so it's actually really nice for that. And it is nice to, like, if, if you're one of those people that does not wear gloves while you work just because you don't like the feel of them or whatever, if you are touching that gel, a contact dermatitis is a lovely thing in our industry. Um, so it kind of just prevents you from touching that product and also getting any oils on yep. the product itself and having to like cleanse after that again. So really just using 
this guy instead makes your life so much easier. So true. While we're on the topic of Chrome, I'm going to toss in the Chrome yeah. tool. Uh, so Rachel uses her finger to put on Chrome, which she enjoys, but I always wear gloves when I work, um, especially because I do have contact dermatitis. That is a real thing. So for me, using the Chrome tool is a must. Uh, here's my tip for using the Chrome tool is that you want to use it with your hand back here mm -hmm. because we only need very light pressure and you only need to be just gently rubbing. If you're up here, you're like scrubbing it in mm -hmm. and sometimes that can cause issues. You can scratch the chrome and once you scratch chrome, there is no fixing it. So yeah. you just wanna use a really light hand, keep your hand back here and just feather that chrome right on making sure to get all of the sidewalls. I love the Chrome tool. This also comes with five replacement heads and then there are replacement heads that you can buy separate from that. Super nice. All right, uh, we'll just go down the lineup. Um, I, these are our tried and true glitter, glitter brush trio applicator, detailer, and duster. These ones are must haves if you have loose glitter at all or if you have dusts or chromes or any kind of pigments or just any sort of um, nail art supplies where you are like dabbing something on. The duster brush is so nice. It's not stiff enough that it's going to like scratch any of the glitters off, but it's stiff enough that it will get them all out of the cracks and it will get off all of your extras. Yep. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's I just love the glitter duster brush. I love the duster. Um, and then we also have another duster that is a, it's like a soft duster brush, which is perfect for chrome um, because they are a lot, they're very, very dense. So it's packed in there. Um, very dense, very stiff, but really, really soft. They're very, very soft bristles. So this is really nice. So it doesn't scratch your chrome. I used um, this on my sister to remove hers, oh, and she was yeah. like, that is incredibly soft. Just don't stop doing that. Like, yeah. oh, that is oh, it's just so nice. Satisfying. Yeah, it's, it's just, so nice. It's just gentle. <laughs> so this one would be just used to remove the chrome dust. Yeah. Don't use this guy to remove your chrome dust. Yeah. It's too this harsh. Just so glitters, you use this pigments, guy. dusts that are not chromey, just anything else. Yep. Um, and then I, we love the glitter detailer I for do. all kinds of, whether it's loose application. Um, I love it for dust. Like a dry. Yeah. yeah. I love to, I mean, we have a wet and a dry, obviously. These are the same brush. One is just in the glitter, the glitter detailer brush rather than the, uh, just the teal detailer. But they're like the same, same style of brush and everything. Um, I like to have one wet and one dry because I sometimes will mix my glitters and I like to apply them like they're a gel. So that just... You know, makes it a little bit easier. I also really like this as a gel brush it's for like nice. build me up or for um, even if you work with get a grip out of a pot. I really like this because it has a lot of bounce in it. Like it just kind of moves so nicely. Yeah. Right now it's stiff because we yeah. haven't made it wet. So it's like holding its shape, but yeah. it just has it's a really flexible. nice bounce yeah. and it allows that gel to just glide where yeah. you'd like it to go. Yeah. Uh, and I will say this one is a little bit, uh, splayed out because it's been used for a while this one is my, yeah long my a long while uh -huh. but this one is one that i just use for dry glitter application so it's it's very nice because they are all spread out like that so like if you're doing any kind of like glitter fades or anything like, like that. joseph application like ooh, uh, yep. ooh, or yeah or for like flakes a, and any stuff kind of flakes leafing anything yep. like that it's just nice because it's you know it's not as concentrated and you don't have as big of a as big of a brush so it covers a little bit less area if you mm -hmm. want it more sporadic the nice thing about all of these tools i mean not all of them but most of them like this can be used as a chrome application right yeah absolutely. We, we've showed how to do like chrome tips and things like that and we've used the applicator for that this can be used for dust this can be used for chromes this can be used for ombres this can be used for all kinds of things mm -hmm. um, a dry version of this one same thing uh, this one is probably only a single use tool, but all of these are can be used multi-use. We told you all the uses for the silicone. Like I really just love tools that can do multiple things right, in the cover salon. So many different aspects. Yeah, nail art. Yeah, I love that. Now <clears throat> I have a hidden sneak peek. So this is a brand new tool that is coming very soon, and this is the brand new spatula. Look how beautiful it is. It's so sexy. And if you don't have a spatula in the salon, let me tell you why you need it. A spatula is good for so many things. Um, you can use it to take product out of bottles and things like that if you need it just a little tiny bit. But my favorite thing for this 
is, I'm going to move these out of the way. My favorite thing for this is to actually stir, right now we have a Give Me Strength Cupid that probably doesn't need to be stirred, but I know that everybody has some colors, especially when they're not in season, that the next year that you pull them out, they're all separated and kind of just needing a really vigorous stir. So that is where a spatula comes in, and you're just going to give this a really like up and down, so I'm going like this, and then I'm going around and around, scraping that bottom. Another thing we can do is, Go like this and just in circular motions I'm putting pressure on the base so that I don't so lose my bottle mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's just stirring it and then just vigorously like up and down up and down making sure to scrape that bottom and then what will happen is that your gel polish will be back brand new then you're gonna take your bristles and you're just going to scrape all of this product put it back into the bottle and then you would just wipe off the excess of this with some alcohol and a wipe. And it's that easy. So a spatula in the salon is a must-have tool, in my opinion. Yeah. So when this does get released, definitely add it to cart. It is such a great, great addition to the tool lineup from Magpie. I'm so excited about this. I love that they have one now. Like, I'm it really, so excited. It really makes life so much easier. And it is, like, ridiculously sexy. Like... Yeah, it is. Aren't you pretty? Uh, mm. It's gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Dang. You're just, you're just beautiful. So, beauty and grace. I'm very excited for that release. Okay, moving on. Yes. You got a lot of. Here we go. Stuff. Yeah, I got a few more things. Okay, so let's talk about foils. We have so many foils to choose from. We have, we have the traditionals. We have the um, oldie but goodie patterns, and then we have the real patterns. So this one can still be used in an abstract manner, but these ones are used for um, a full foil transfer. And there are just so many to choose from. Um, out of the oldies, I would say Edie Rose is a must. Absolutely. Uh, Lillianne. Yeah, the I mean, gold, just like a true gold. I mean, yeah. Lillianne is like... Yeah. You, you see us. If you have ever joined us on an Instagram Live before, you know we love Lillian. We use her very, 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 very often. Yeah. And if you're a silver girl, Sylvie Joy. Sylvie Joy, yep. Um, if you like a little bit of holographic, there are holographic options in the traditionals. Uh, then we move on to these. So Mary Jane is just this beautiful. I used this one um, in last week's Live when we did so the wrapping paper nails so you can use these for all kinds of things but then poppy joy poppy joe is the red one mm -hmm. um there is ivb that's the multicolored one mm -hmm. i actually really love clarabelle it's a teal uh, yeah, i love, I so love ava grace that like ava grace slip. is a good one that one is one of my all-time favorites yep and these ones we love to use abstract like just tap yeah, it on just little bits yeah and then when you move into the pattern foils, like Donatello. There's so, so many. There are so many. And if I can think of any of my favorites, like I love Olaf. Yeah. I yeah. love Leo. Leo, Doug, yep. Doug, um, Sunny, any of those like Oh, florals. I love Sunny. Um, I love those deep tones, especially for right now. Yes. Pluto uh, is the, like the white with the Scooby, clear Scooby, Pluto, tooth. and mm -hmm. Muttley are the houndstooth yeah. ones and all of them are winners Beautiful. so there are just so many good ones to choose from so many different patterns um even the solid colors there's yep. so many solid colors i really love percy i really love luigi i really love grinch i love those the are the solid ones, colors like the neutrals with like uh is it hector oh uh-huh uh-huh i'm trying to wilbur and yogi yeah, and all those like Peter so cute yoda um i also want to mention um olaf Yes. Olaf is the, it has a clear backing and then it has silver holographic snowflakes. And then my other favorite that falls in the metallic range is Otis. Yep. Otis is a champagne rose gold and it is holographic and it is it's just fantastic. Beautiful. Now, how do you use these? We've done lots of um, different lives on this type of product, um, but you would either use get foiled or full foiled. And if you want more information on that, just message us and we will help you decide which foil gel to get. Uh -huh. All right, next up. Let's talk about this. Okay. We're using our salon product and I am a little bit. I'm just going to clean off the top. It's fine. So fast. That's fine. So here is Build Me Up. Build Me Up is 
um, a suspension gel, and this acts like a hard gel. It is not a hard gel. It can be soaked off, but it does cure very, very rigid um, like a hard gel. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to show you how much we love it. It's gone. You empty. Mm -hmm. Good thing there's a sale. Uh, so, blush is just a beautiful pale pink. Um, it does look very bubblegum in here, but when it, when it cures, it is a very pale pink. Uh -huh. Now, I just want to show you with clear what I'm talking about with it being a suspension gel. So, if I turn this over, you won't be able to tell, but it, it's not going to come out. And that's because right now, all of the molecules are suspended. So, it hasn't moved, you can see. Which is so nice. Yeah. But if I wanted to make it a little bit more viscous, then I would just give it a little stir like this. And now, once I pour this, it's going to start moving. And I'm going to hope that I don't dump it out. But, oh, I think I have to stir just a little bit more. I'm being so timid because I one time I did this and I almost made a gigantic disaster. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, here we go. And now... So it's oh, right there, there at go. the edge. Okay, so that is it's going moving. to make the gel much thinner and it's going to move very freely. So you can tell what's suspended and what isn't. So it's really nice to use a multi-purpose gel like this because mm -hmm. you can use it for so many different things. Mm -hmm. um, we love Build Me Up, so just wanted to talk about that for mm -hmm. a quick moment. And it comes in a pot, which is a little bit of a thicker formula. Yep, that's where it's going to be, the suspension gel. Mm -hmm. The Build Me Up that is in a bottle is not a suspension gel. Yeah. It is a self-leveling gel. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, technically this is self-leveling too, where right. I stirred it. Stir it. Then it's definitely going to self-level and move and things like that. But when you don't stir it, it's you have to be able to put it where you want it and shape it and you're good to go. Yeah. Or you can finish file it, of course. Right. Yeah. We like to do um, as little steps as possible. We do. So we've gotten very good at placing the gel and then just leave it be. And you can actually, when it's in suspension form. You can do all five nails. You can literally do four and then five. Rachel didn't believe me and she was doing my nails one time. I was time, so scared. And I was like, I'm not putting my hand in the lamp. Do my thumb. And she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a, uh, that was a minute. Uh, gave me some, gave that me some is stress. funny. But she did my thumb and then I was like, look, they all stayed exactly where you yeah, put them. So, so I nice. do love it when it is in suspension form. Mm -hmm. Also love it and it's not suspension form, but it's my favorite when it's suspension. All right, next up, let's talk about some fun things before we go into the yeah, yeah, yeah. into the must-haves. All right, let's talk about... You want all the fun things. I do. <laughs> I didn't bring any. We have, at Magpie, we have all kinds of glitters. All kinds. I just chose a couple because we talk about glitter a lot, mm -hmm. and so I just chose some beauties for These this season. These are so good. Henna and Peppa. Such hidden gems. They really are. These yeah. are more like oh. fine dusts. These would be perfect for sugaring. Yep. Um, they can also be used under, so they are a multi-purpose glitter, which we just love that. She's so pretty. <clears throat> so henna, you beauty. And then Peppa. You boot, you beauty. Peppa is the silver version. Pour me a little. Let's see her. Mm. Oh, that was a, a lot. Sorry. Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> That's all right. We but can see her. So so pretty, and these I think would be perfect for the upcoming season, where like everybody and everything is doing sugared. Yeah, like these as like snowflakes. I also I was just gonna so say, cute. um, without so I don't really care for the texture of sugared. Yeah. Um, but I still think you can sugar and then top coat, and yeah. you would still get this beautiful payoff. Oh, absolutely. You would really get the texture like more dimensional. You get that kind of three D effect even if you do top coat it. Yep. Which I love, love, love. A little bit. Now, the next ones, like I said, we have lots of glitters, so many glitters. I mean, every glitter you could even hope for. And we talk yeah. about our favorites all the time. Yeah. But I chose this one because I wanted to highlight that glitters also come in a collection. Yeah. This particular collection is one of our <laughs> major favorites. Yeah. Uh, this is called the Snow Angels Collection. And these Snow ones are dusts just like Henna and Peppa, mm -hmm. except these ones have holographic and iridescent pieces to them and they are absolutely stunning but if you are feeling overwhelmed by um choosing all of the different glitters yeah then just go so to the many. collections page and you'll be able to see them that way mm -hmm. and maybe choose colors that 
you know, would suffice yeah. to begin with. Or if you were somebody who was like, I don't want to have to add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, yeah. add to cart, Just go to the collections page, then. then you only have to add to cart, well, you know, less time. Yeah. So instead of five times, you would only have to add to cart one time. So you could, it's just another way to get everything you're wanting just a little bit faster. And I feel like it's nice buying whole collections because you'll get colors that like maybe you wouldn't have bought that color. Absolutely. And it might end up being one of your all time favorites. Yep. So one thing before I put this down, I just want to highlight Blanche. So Blanche is a stunner. And when you put this over a black or a dark color, she's going to be green, which is so pretty at this time of year. But when she's over mm -hmm. a light color, see, you can see the green yeah. over here, but, but when, when she's over light, a lighter like color, blue. yep, there's some blue, there's some pink in there. So these are just fun to work with, Ooh. but how pretty yeah. is that? So pretty. Love that. Um, Tammy Miller asked for collections be 20% off too. They will. The entire website is 20% off starting this Thursday oh at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So oh we are very excited. We do love this sale. This is the happiest sale of the year. So, yeah. All right. Because then it's, you know, Christmas. Because then it's Christmas. Ugh. And you can put all of these beauties under the tree. So I only pulled a couple of flakes and dusts and chromes and all of the all of the fun things. But we have such a wide offering of these. And mm -hmm. there are some that are just like Joseph I didn't pull or Buddy. Oh my gosh, why didn't yeah, I pull that? There's but, so many because <laughs> literally this whole table would be covered. It would be covered. So I had to be very choosy. But um, for sure I wanted to highlight these two. So Starshine, you could do so much Ooh. with Starshine. Ooh through the winter oh, I have ideas. now through january february oh my word like it is a mirror Man, flake so okay cool. don't I can't breathe. talk don't breathe I can't talk and tell you how much i love it don't breathe in its general direction it can sense fear that's right so when you open flakes we've we've always told you like just stay far away because stay if away. you don't then that's what happens I just breathe on purpose to show you, but it will go all Not over the place. You can see, but uh, oh. this is what happens. Right. Is it goes everywhere. It just goes everywhere. So these are very, very fine, very light flakes. And so when you breathe on them, they really do go everywhere. So just, you know, hold your breath or breathe in a different direction. But Starshine is a true mirror. It is absolutely gorgeous. It really is. Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 Oh. And wow. I actually really love the Moonlight Chrome, which is the yeah. mirror chrome. And then you yeah. put a little bit of starshine on it. Oh, my gosh. It's gorgeous. Wow. <sighs> Beautiful. Gorgeous. Love that. Next up, I wanted to talk about oh, Jack. Jack. I still have so a good. big obsession with Jack. Yeah, I really do. On this one. Big it's crush. So like Because oh. it's like starshine, but it's pink. But it's pink. And like mint. <gasps> and silver. I'm still remembering my... New Year's nails from last year. Oh my gosh, those are oh. so good. Can we do those again? Look how pretty. Man, that's sexy. It's oh, so good. So the flakes are, are so fun. fun. The metallic flakes, which I'm about to talk about, are so fun. The shiny ones are so fun. Jack is so good. Mm -hmm. Joseph is a must-have. The whole festive flakes um, collection. Buddy is a must-have. Like, yeah. there are some that are just, like, yeah. add to cart. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> This now we awesome move on to off. I love this one. Yeah. Well, you are everybody who watches our Instagram lives knows we are obsessed. Exactly. Love Stevie. Obsessed. How can you not add this to cart? Yeah. So Stevie is part of the Metallic Flakes collection and you're going to be like, "Oh yeah, it is pretty." And then you're going to put it on the nail and you're going to be like, "I mean, yeah, yeah it's, cute. it's cute." And then you're going to top coat and be shook. <laughs> and you're gonna lose your mind you're gonna be shook when you top coat stevie because it just changes to this vibrant intense absolutely hand grab worthy red it's it's so dimensional <gasps> there's so much happening you get a hint of almost like it's a holographic but it's not just because there's so much happening in these it's, flakes uh, when it gets top coated. Amazing. It's insane. It's amazing the yep. depth to stevie you put bella rouge underneath and you put stevie over top you're going burnished. to just <gasps> burnish. It's just Stevie. next level. Mm -hmm. I actually like it burnished or I like it just patted on. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning. It's so cute. All right. And then the next two that I chose are from the winter dust collection, which just released. They're we so haven't even pretty. really talked about them very much. We just um, took them off your nails too. Yeah, we did. Dang it. Um, I would have to say that I thought Moet was going to be my favorite. Hunter. I think Hunter yeah. took my breath away every time the sun hit it. 
Yeah. I mean, it was... I say Hunter, or like Merlot, that like deep wine red one. It was oh, that's crazy. So good. When the sun would hit it, I was just like, ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I, like, love I love it. I love it. I love it. that you needed a deep forest green chrome? No. This. You do. You, you need it. So this, I we didn't chrome it onto me. We just patted it onto the tacky layer. Next level. Amazing. Hunter Beautiful. for the win. Um... Moet is also absolutely stunning. This is a champagne. And so that I don't ruin I was gonna the say, bottle. I need you to wipe off your uh -huh. hand. Because it has Stevie on it. <laughs> but look at ready. this. Look at that. I mean. It's so pretty. Oh. It's like the softest, like, champagne-y, like, white mm. gold. It's, it's so good so as a paint. You can, Ooh, yeah. you can mix it with a top coat or a base coat and use it as a paint. Mm -hmm. Think of, like, all of your Christmas baubles that you could make. Um, you could add, especially for New Year's, I see so many different designs that can come with using these as dust. Like, I yeah. absolutely love, 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 love it. Yep. They're beautiful. I'm just going to change gloves real fast yeah. since those are top-notch A wee done. bit messy. Um, but that actually rounds out all of the messy parts. Yeah. Onto, so, onto less messy. Onto uh, less messy. Hannah's Bananas Tips and Toes says, uh, well, I hold my breath more in this job than any job I can think of. Right? You're not right? wrong. So that we don't breathe in all of the beautiful flakes. Name. Yep. That is a cute name. She's one of our British pals. Hello, hello. Okay, so moving on to, I'm going to actually clear the decks. Yeah. I'm going to take this away. Yeah. Our beautiful disaster. R.I.P. Bag glitter. See ya. All right, so... Next up. We are down to the last. And these are all of the must-haves, the basics. I mean, when there is a sale like this, getting the basics is only the smart thing to do. Right. Like, you can get fun stuff and stuff. Sure, of Absolutely. course. This Absolutely. This time to try new things. But if they're, you know, if you're running out of gimme strength, get, this is right. the time this to get Right, this is the time to stock up on that. This is the time to that. grab your get-a-grip and your yep. top it off. And all of your top coats and your base coats and Absolutely. your structure gels. So let's talk about, really quickly, HEMA. So HEMA is a molecule, um, well, it's a ingredient used in nail product. And the molecule is very thin and can seep into your skin, or if it's left uncured on the nails, it can seep down and cause allergies. So that is what all of the HEMA, current HEMA talk is all about. Yeah. It is not a bad ingredient. It is just something that people are sensitive to. Yeah. So when you are using high levels of HEMA, then that's when allergies are becoming rampant and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we have HEMA-free options here. We also have products that do have very little bits of HEMA in them, and we are very um, transparent about that, especially on the website. We tell you exactly what has HEMA and what, um, well, what has HEMA, the rest then does not. So we wanted to talk really quickly about one of our favorites. This is HEMA-free. This is Get a Grip. Uh, we love Get a Grip. Love. Absolutely adore Get a Grip. Home on my nail. Oh, I'm sorry. That stinks. <laughs> Darn it. Um, I love Get a Grip because it self levels. I love Get a Grip because I can use it as a structure gel. If my client has generally healthy nails with good flexibility, I can use this then as a structure gel mm -hmm. and she doesn't need anything else. I can pair Get a Grip with Give Me Strength if my client did have a little bit of flexibility and needed a little bit of structure, mm. then I could put on some Give Me Strength. Mm -hmm. Give Me Strength is also a multi-purpose gel. Um, it is HEMA-free. It can be used to encapsulate glitters. It can be used to make glitter gels. It can be used to make um, the paint, like what, mm -hmm. what I was talking about with Moet. Yeah. I mean, there are too many uses. Yeah, there, it really is it's so versatile. It can be used yeah. for all kinds of things. And these two products come in colors, mm -hmm. and the colors are beautiful. Like I got some pink and some cupid with Love both it. of those and yep. they're just beautiful shades of that like a this is the get a grip pink and it really is just like such a soft beautiful such a soft baby pink but even though they may look in the bottles like wow that's a lot of pink that's a lot of color this one actually they, love. i absolutely love these soft pink shades um because they just warm up with that uh with that nail underneath absolutely it's they're gorgeous so stunning and it, it really is just like a flattering, like if you're doing any sort of negative space or a uh -huh. French tip or something like that. These are so nice to have as your background because then it kind of, I don't know, saves you some time. You don't Absolutely. have to do, you know, your all of your structure and then add gel polish on top. This is kind of like a, like a two-in-one. 
Absolutely. Um, I was just going to say that these two you could pair yeah. on the nail, and this could be your full manicure. Then yeah. you could go right in with top coat. Absolutely. So there are lots of different ways to use the Magpie system. Mm -hmm. um, velvet top is our matte top coat. You're going to need to stock up on this because we are in the season of um, sweater nails. Thank yeah. you. Of sweater, sweater nails. And just any kind of 3D art. Yep. Whether so that's where you're going to need yeah. this. Also, you this need. Or like chrome. Yep. Yeah. You need velvet top for pigments mm -hmm. because that is how we ombre those pigments together. Yeah. So all of these products are 60 second cure in the Magpie lamp, which we love the Magpie lamp as well, but Truly. I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to bring in everything. I mean, we but could. I do I love the Magpie lamp. <laughs> then we have top it off. This top coat is the no wipe top coat. And this is what we love for chrome. Mm -hmm. Works every time in the lamp for 60 seconds. Make sure that your client's hand is fully in the lamp. It does need a full cure. And then on your chrome goes. And then you follow the rest of the steps mm -hmm. from there. Love, Absolutely. love, love it. Um, the other one, I know Rachel loves it and uses it all the time. I don't have one at my desk, but it's like a diamond. Uh, yeah. And it would be the top coat that... You do have to you wipe it do. off. Yep. Yeah. It does have an inhibition layer. Uh, it's a very easy to remove. You're just going to wipe down and it just comes right off. Mm -hmm. But it is a beautiful, beautiful top coat. Super shiny. Mm -hmm. Super, super easy to work with. I love the formula of it. It's just very easy to apply and self-levels so nicely. Um, yep. Especially if you're going over any kind of nail art. Um, like top it off and like a diamond are the nicest top coats to go over any kind of nail art or glitter or anything like that Looks yeah so much so nice and so shiny so much so if you go onto the website you'll be able to i mean on every page of the gel colors and whatnot then we talk about what has hema and then the rest does not have hema mm -hmm. um we didn't pull any gel colors because we talk a lot about the gel colors <laughs> yeah but i feel like maybe we should just toss one in because just, of course a during a sale you should grab some new gel colors this is the new mold wine from the tis the season it is a such a pretty oh color my gosh, it's the most stunning rachel's doing my nails today maybe i want this um, look how beautiful I mean, that is I also... We just did a live uh, last Wednesday on these, so if you haven't had a chance to go through and watch the swatching of this, you will just, well, basically you'll need the entire collection. I'm gonna ooh and all <gasps> over candy cane again. Maybe I need that in my life. Like, let's mm. get up close and personal. Let's get. I mean, mm. she's just let's get a beaut. for a moment, shall we? She's a beaut. <sighs> There are so many good gel there's colors. So like, many good of ones. course, come what may and forget me and not. And there's so many good collections. Bella Rouge, like, yeah. I feel like. Like this is the if you're gonna commit to some gel polishes, just grab a collection. Absolutely, it makes your life so much easier when you just you know grab six at a time rather than like right ones that you're like I don't really know what I want. Grab the you know Mother uh, Nature, Mother Earth, Mother Earth. Mother oh, Earth. such a good one. Yeah, grab yeah. that. I get it confused every single time. Yep, absolutely yeah. stunning. So, um, just really quickly before we say goodbye for the yeah. day, I did want to highlight Unicorn. Unicorn is a clear chrome but it is a dual purpose chrome. So when you put it onto the nail in low light, you're going to see the iridescent part mm. of it, which is what you're seeing it's right like now. pink and gold. But if I were to take the phone with me and we went outside, then this would be holographic. That's so cool. Which is so cool. I love that because I'm one of those people who, while my husband is driving us wherever we're going, then I'm always like, this she with my nails. Like, at her nails. Like, let me look at the sparkles, right? <laughs> so to see holographic, I'd be like, ooh, 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 ooh. I love it, love it, love it. So grab yourself a unicorn chrome as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think rainbow is, here, will you bring that I over here? Rainbow is limited edition. Oh, it is. Can I wait? Do I see yep. Yeah. Yep. So rainbow is limited edition and we're actually almost out of rainbow. So if you want, you can grab a rainbow as well. We'll show that to you. Um, we have a client who just got it put on her nails, mm -hmm. but then unicorn is the newer version mm -hmm. and that's the one that is more pink like this and then has that holographic kickback when you're out in the sun, which is just fabulous. Stolen. Um, Gen Z nails asks, has the formula of like a diamond change? The bottle is matte now and it's so much shinier than it used to be. Um, I can verify with HQ. I'm not sure. Uh, we haven't been made aware of any of chain, any of those changes, but I'm so glad to hear that feedback. Yeah. I mean, That's there awesome. was a, there was a package change just in yeah, the there bottle, was. but mm -hmm. that was all I was aware of, but yep. you know, if it's shinier, we love it. We Absolutely. Love to see it. Absolutely. Yeah. We'd love that. Um, any other questions that we can answer while we're waiting to see rainbow? Um, I don't know that there was any more. Oh, one more now. Okay. Do you want to talk about the lamp? Oh yeah. We might as well. Yours is messy though. 
That's because I use it a lot. <laughs> no, you don't. I do. You don't even. You I don't do. even go here. So this we've actually just unplugged it. Oh, I could um, I could plug it in from right here. Perfect. So this is the Magpie lamp. We have it in white, but it also comes in black. Mm -hmm. There is a 10 second, a 30, a 60, and a 90. Mm -hmm. 90 is the uh, low power mode. For the first 30 seconds, it is, does use less uh, power. And then at 60, it switches to full power. So we like that for people who are a little bit more sensitive. And then it does have all of the lights on the inside like this. It is a fantastic lamp. Um, our master educator, Melissa, just did a video on the importance of the lamp. And does the lamp matter? Absolutely, the lamp matters. She cured some Build Me Up that we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. She cured this and into four different lamps. And the Magpie one was the only one that was fully cured. So we want to be making sure that we fully cure our product so that our clients don't have um, any chance of getting... Um, yeah, any sort of curing any, any sort of contact dermatitis yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. So the Magpie lamp, major, major winner. Okay, really quickly. Here we go. <gasps> this is rainbow chrome. Oh, this angle. Oh, this mm, angle. Aren't you gorgeous? And you aren't can see you beautiful? beautiful. So this oh is what gosh. unicorn and rainbow are going to do the same thing. Gorgeous. It just will have a different The color. difference is if you were to put this over black then rainbow is going to have more of a green pink shift and unicorn is going to have more of a purple pink shift. So that's the only difference, but both of them are iridescent in low light and then holographic in bright light. Ooh, sexy. I love gorgeous, that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, I want that on my nails. Ooh, I love it. That's All right, everybody. Um, you can shop the sale starting this coming Thursday mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Mm -hmm. As always, if you ever have any questions or need help making decisions or, you know, whatever it I is, questions making. about how to use products, please always message us. We're happy to help in yeah. any way that we possibly can. I love and, making decisions for other people, so if right? you want me to tell you what to buy, <laughs> you got it. Rachel's your girl. <laughs> um, we hope that you have a wonderful holiday with your family and loved ones, and... We appreciate all of your support. Yeah. So until we won't be here, well, we might pop on next week um, to show you some behind the scenes.